Maddie Balio is headed to Hollywood to star in NBC's Hairspray Live. We're here at Beauty Bar to meet the next Tracy Turnblad. Maddie, I'm so excited to finally meet you. I keep seeing photos of you and interviews with you. You're like super famous all of a sudden. I know, this is crazy. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> You are Tracy Turnblad, Hairspray Live. Everyone's gonna be watching this. This is like the big TV event of the fall. Are you like flipping out? Yeah, and this is my dream role. I'm so excited that so many people get to see Hairspray at this time. It's just, it's so cool. When did you first discover your dream role? When did you first see Hairspray and go, oh my God, I wanna play that girl? Oh my gosh, I don't know how old I was, but I was pretty young when I saw the musical movie and I fell in love with Tracy because she's just like me and she has the best spirit in the world. She sees a rat on the street and she thinks it's like the coolest thing in the world and I can relate to that. <laughs> you see a lot of rats on the street? Uh, yeah, when I moved to New York, I didn't see many in Texas, but I'm like, oh hey, there's a rat, wow. <laughs> That's not something I see every day. <laughs> so did you walk out of that audition going, oh my God, I just nailed that, I'm gonna be on TV. No, 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 no. There were so many girls in line, and I had no idea that I was I was uh, one of the few that were called back. And I had four callbacks after that initial audition, and uh, I still had no idea the day that they told me that I was going to be that I was going to be Tracy. And they had known for a couple of weeks. I had no idea. <laughs> so what's it been like now? Now it's been months, and you haven't actually started rehearsals. That you're just about to start rehearsals, like officially. Uh, what's it been like? all this build up what, what, what have the last few months been like for you oh my gosh um well it's really been the calm before the storm i went to texas for a little while to just hang out with my family and 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 spend time with them but i just did pre-production with jerry mitchell the choreographer who's insane and he's been kicking my butt did he tell you to do it full out full out <laughs> yeah full out hashtag full out every day <laughs> and um it's it's going really well i can't wait to start rehearsals so, and the cast is incredible. I mean, I can't even believe who you're gonna be hanging out with. Me either. Um, my favorite singers, uh, Ariana Grande, Kristen Chenoweth, she's like a mom to me. One of the first things that she asked, or she, yeah, she asked me when we met was, um, are you going back to college? And I said, I don't know yet, it's all up in the air. And she's like, well, I think you'd regret it if you didn't. I would regret it if I didn't go to college. You're gonna be a big star one day, Maddie. <laughs> like, she's so sweet, I love her. But she's gonna be so mean to you in the show. I mean, I uh, Velma is not nice to you. I know, I know, but I have Harvey Firestein who's playing my mother and he's, he's taking very good care of me, making sure, he's texting me every day, making sure my journey is going really smoothly and really fun. Are you a big like stage door girl? Do you go see shows? Like, What's it been like when you've been in New York? Yeah, I'm always too nervous to go to the stage door, but, but yeah, I studied musical theater at Marymount Manhattan College, and I'm the biggest musical theater geek probably ever. Uh, I don't know if I'd say that, but, but I love musical theater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what are some of your favorite shows? Some of my favorite shows, I just saw The Color Purple, and I am obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with Cynthia Erivo, and I love Wicked. That was my first Broadway show that I saw, and I'd love to play Elphaba one day. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah. I like that idea. I'm into that a lot. Um, so what, what's it going to be like? You're living in L.A., right? And you're going to be taking your suitcases to L.A. and just start jumping into rehearsals? Yeah, yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm, I'm flying out to L.A., and then the next day I start rehearsals, and, and they're getting me a car so I can drive around, and I have my own apartment. I'm going to be so lonely when I'm not at rehearsals because I don't know anyone, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you'll make friends. I think it's going to be good. Thanks. So are you nervous about the live thing at all, or is that just natural because you've done live stage performances? Yeah, um, I mean, I've always done live stage performances. I mean, that's what I do, but I've never done it in front of a camera. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. And I've never done it only once. So I have one shot to get it right. right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's nerve wracking. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited. Uh, so are you supporting, should people be like live tweeting? What should we do when we're watching it? Have you, you've watched these events before. Yeah. It's fun to sort of like watch and wonder what you guys are going through on the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Live tweet, hashtag hairspray live. And, and, uh, and full out. Yeah, hashtag full <laughs> out tweet. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Have an amazing hairspray adventure. Thank you so much. I will.